We interrupt your double XP weekend to bring important news regarding RuneScape in September. On Monday, 3rd of September, the very day that this double XP weekend finishes, you'll be able to get your hands proper dirty with Player Owned Farm. This is a plot of land to call your own, dozens of animals to look after, and the biggest addition ever made to the farming skill. To make the week even busier, the 1st of September is also the return of the raffle. Start planning the reward days that really deserve your tickets. We can also confirm that September is the month of Quest Point Shop giving you rewards for your unused quest points, while Premier Club owners can unlock the first of their four Premier Club chests. In a survey, at the turn of the year, you voted Player Owned Farm as the most wanted update, and after several builder backlog polls, it still hasn't been counted from the top. Well, on Monday, 3rd of September, joy of joys, it arrives. On the northern fringes of East Ardoin is a farm overseen by Granny Potterington. Looking after the animals has become a pig of a job, and Potterington is searching for a qualified farmer to muck in. That's you, by the way, as long as you have 17 farming and 20 construction. Home telly to Ardoin, and you're pretty much there. After a swift tutorial, you'll be able to raise animals, gain materials and farming XP from them, then sell the beasts for beans to buy a stable full of farming rewards. Expert farmers can optimise their gains by clearing poop, putting food in troughs, keeping animals healthy and breeding the very best with some sumptuous perks. And you don't need to be in the farm to be improving it. Harvest mushrooms to unlock zygomites, trap skill chompers to unlock chin chompers, and make yak pouches to unlock yaks. Don't have a cow, man? Buy them from the farmer's market. The rewards are beyond your usual benefits. There's a new elite skilling outfit in the form of the master farmer outfit, new skill boosting potions for divination hunter, invention and recrafting, and improved ultra compost. That really is only the beginning of what you can gain from the farm, and there are 37 achievements to complete as you progress. Man, you're going to love it. The fifth most desired update from this year's surveys and builder backlog polls, the farm and master skill cape perks were one and three, was a quest point shop, an actual use for all the quest points that you've been accumulating over the past 17 years. May, a quest aficionado, will be setting her caravan in front of the Champions Guild. Visit her and you can choose from several branches of the perk tree. Will you choose the combat gear branch, which hands you armor and weapons that make you increasingly strong against quest bosses? Or, Will you go for the pet branch and unlock an adorable little pup that can be customised according to your favourite quest series, alongside some useful benefits? Or will you level up the quest hub itself, including a chest to store quest items and a teleport to the latest quest? You can respec if you ever want to choose a different branch of the perk tree, and there are milestone rewards for everyone, regardless of which branch you choose. Just get yourself 25 quest points to start and begin turning your quest list a wonderful shade of green. It wouldn't be September without a raffle to run alongside the updates. While the format hasn't changed, you still get a ticket every day and another if you complete a daily challenge, the presentation and looks can be given a lick of paint. Submit your tickets on the day that has the jazziest prizes, then cross your fingers and hope for the best. On Monday, we have golden god swords. On Tuesday, there are portable deposit boxes. On Wednesday, there are protein packs. On Thursday, it's golden war priest. On Friday, whoop whoop, Death Touch Dance. On Saturday, it's Golden Barrow's Armour, and on Sunday, it's a new one, Golden Chaotic Weaponry. If you're a Gold Premier Clubber, a content exclusive arrives with Player and Farm. This is the first of four chests that will be coming each month until the end of the year. Want a clue what's in the first chest? Well, there's Jack All in it. If you like your Rainbow's End rewards, then there's one in particular that's a sight of a sore eyes. The Rainbow Lizard has a colour changing tail and crest, and will make you the centre of any party. Finally, whether you're going to RuneFest or plan to watch via livestream, we have some news that might interest you. The RuneFest app is available on Apple and Android stores now, and includes a survey for nominating your potential Golden Gnome winners. Over time, you can expect the app to update with a session schedule, alongside links to the streams, live polling, and access to some great merch. RuneFest is just around the corner on the 5th and 6th of October. We're prepping some hefty announcements, so gird your loins and subscribe to us on YouTube and Twitch it's going to be a good one. Do you want to try and go a little bit faster or do you reckon that'd be all right? Um, that's probably the right speed for me. Yeah, no. <laughs> if I go faster, I'll just end up going blah. Okay, ready? <laughs>